Okay, here's um a review on the RC four wheel drive Jeep um Jeep something or other bumper and it fits it's the perfect width for um dingo body and perfect width for a Jeep body. Um I just don't have the Jeep body on right now, but it's um a really good scale item. Some people um might think uh well Maybe I don't want so much weight on the back of my RC. Well, if you have a trail truck, you end up going to complement. Look, there's just a little Allen screw down here. Tighten it. Just a second. Just a second. Come on. So, once that's out, so you're going to start unscrewing that, and then under a minute, you can turn a trail truck into more of a competition crawler by just unscrewing this little tiny screw right here. It's, it's not very tiny, it's quite big, it's long. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, so, and then, spare tire off. Um, some notes that you might want to take about this. Um, doesn't come with the screw to mount your tire on. Doesn't come with tire. Doesn't come with this plastic piece, the nut. And if you are planning on, t planning on using um, not very wide tires, you're gonna need about an inch spacer. If you're using wire tires, you're going to need a longer spacer. And then this is how you put it back in. You just set that pin back over here. Stick that screw down in there. Start tightening it up. And then you're back to your trail truck look. And then there's one more function that makes this a really, really nice touch to your crawler. So, the last touch on here is don't over tighten the screw, otherwise, you won't be able to, to do this function. So, you're gonna take this pin out, pull it up, it's spring loaded, and then your bumper or your spare tire carrier slides out. Um, these they do have five millimeter light buckets that do fit the axial lights. Um, just the downfall of it is on the back side of it you have to put silicone in to keep it in because like Axial's bumper they don't come with those things that keep the light buckets in they don't have the screw mounting holes um, this bumper is powder coated it's a nice coat it's just kind of scratched up because of the use I've given it so that is a little short overview on the SCX10 RC4 wheel drive the JK bumper.